Hello and welcome to our video on using background images in MaxSurf. When we create a new design, it's possible to import an existing image and place it in the background. This is useful for situations with older designs where we have an image of the design but no numerical data. Before we can start using that image effectively, we need to set up the zero point. So we can zoom in on a known location in the image and from the background menu we can use the set image zero point command and choose a point that's going to be the new origin of that image. Another thing that we need to do is scale the image so that we know uh, how wide it is. Uh, so in this case again we can use the background menu and this time set the image reference point. If we click on a known beam location we can enter the width of the design and then uh, we'll have it correctly scaled so we can start drawing. There are a few things we can do with background images. We can simply manually add points on top of them. So we can go through and for example add a series of markers around a, a section that's uh, in the image and then we can select those existing markers and from the curves menu fit a curve to those markers. It gives us a pretty good fit to the markers in that image. We can repeat that at a series of sections. If I load in a design where I've already uh, created um, a background image and a surface, we'll be able to see how we can actually modify a design on top of that image. So if I go in here and just display one station, we can see here that uh, if we're working on the whole surface here and I go up in the forward part of the design, we can see the scan background image and the section through the whole surface that's on top of it. So obviously we can use the normal surface editing commands to edit our surface to get it a little closer to the background image. So as I move control points around it's quite easy to see how close the sections are to the, uh, the sections on the image. We can have separate images in different views. So if I go to a plan view we can see we've got an image uh, of the plan of the boat and if I turn on my water lines we can see how close the water lines are to the image. I've got a little bit more work to do there. The same for the profile view. If we zoom in on a profile view we can see the scanned uh, image in the background and when we display our buttock lines we can see how close they are to the scanned image. So if you're working with old designs and all you have is existing paper drawings simply scan it to a JPEG file and then uh, you'll be able to use it in the background while working in MaxSurf. Thank you for watching.